hi guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here my name is bethel in this video i'm just making a quick tutorial on how to cut a sweetheart neck so the first thing i used was the pattern i drafted in one of my other videos if you don't know how to draft a basic bodies go ahead and watch that video it's very very easy to follow so what i did was i cut out two um patterns two um two bodices so that i can show you how to cut one that's off shoulder and how to cut one that's regular shoulder so now when cutting a sweetheart neck you want to take into consideration what your client or if you're sewing for yourself what you're comfortable with so i'll say when take your measurements measure from the shoulder of the person to where the person is comfortable with the with their bust showing so in this case i'm going to use what i'm comfortable with i say i would say i'm comfortable with eight and a half for the depth of my neck so i'm going to go ahead and mark eight and a half for the depth of my neck so for this one i'll be cutting with the shoulder so eight and a half for the depth of my neck now the next thing i need to consider is the width of my neck or in this case i'll just use the width of my dart it doesn't really matter because i'm going to like have this sort of like you're gonna see when i'm done but it's sort of like um <laughs> you're gonna see i don't know how to explain it. you're gonna see when i'm done so let's let's say four inches for the width of the sweetheart neck so the next thing i need to consider is my um my top bust so my top bust is seven so i'm going to, from here i'm going to mark seven now this might vary for different people. some people might be okay with their bust showing personally i don't think i'm okay like that with my bust showing so now from this seven to this part i'm going to just make an arc like sort of like a curve on this part you can use your french curve but i know some of you guys that watch my videos might not have french curve so i'm always going to use freehand in my tutorials what i'm doing is connecting this like this sort of like just a curve like this and then what i'm not going to do from here to here this is totally optional if you want a straight shoulder here you can do it if you want an arc but i like i like how the arc looks it kind of like it looks very good when you finally make it so i'm just going to go ahead and from here like this i'm just going to make like this sort of curve ish like this so i'm going to cut this open so you can see how this turns out yeah so this is how to cut a sweetheart neck with see how that came out looking so beautiful this is how to cut a sweetheart neck with the shoulder i i love this neckline it, it looks kind of old school but trust me if you sew this with like a new style it comes out looking very beautiful so now using this same technique i'm going to show you guys how to cut the one that's off shoulder or if you want to add an external shoulder like you know if you want to add like see-through fabric on the top i'm going to show you how to cut that one so again the same steps i'm going to go ahead and measure my my cleavage or my you know my neck depth so for this one let me use nine because most of my clients these days have been wanting nine so i'm going to go ahead and use nine but i'll still use um i'll use seven still as my top bust so for that one I'll, I'm, I'm still going to use four inches which is the distance my nipple to nipple or say three and a half inches for my nipple to nipple point so that's going to be my high point like the red um sweetheart neck is going to be the highest at so that's going to be this part so now on that part i'm going to measure my seven inches so right here so i've measured my seven inches right there so now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to connect this to this just like i did in the other one so connect this to this like this and then this one i'm going to blend into my arm hole just like this so do you see that connect this to this and let this one blend into the armhole so now when you're cutting things like this and eh, if you want it to be a tube this is all you need but if you want to have like a transparent top like all those um see i'm um, what they call it skin net top this is going to be what you're going to use to cut your skin net top so you can balance properly so now i'm just going to go ahead and cut this into two separate pieces so you can see it So now this is going to be my sweetheart top like this see how beautiful the sweetheart neck came out see how it came out and then this is going to be my see-through top so now imagine this was like a see-through top I, I i guess you get the idea okay so hopefully this explanation um answers the question of how to cut a sweetheart neck keep the questions coming through if you haven't joined our telegram group yet i'm going to put the link in the description box so that, that way you can join the group and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye.